So I've seen a lot of people comparing Gerai Slavkovsky since he got drafted by the Canadians first overall in the 2022 NHL entry draft with Colorado Avalanche forward Miko Rantanen and I've looked at it for the first time yesterday and I was like all right the comparison is pretty good like I've seen some people comparing with Yarmir Yager I don't think that Yarmir Yager is the right comparison for Yurai Slavkovsky because like I don't think they're alike in the style they play and I don't see a resemblance other than like the size in my opinion I think that Miko Rantanen is a pretty fair comparison if you like in comparable developments I think that Yurai Slavkovsky could have a pretty similar development that Miko Rantanen did with the Colorado Avalanche so let's look right into it so Miko Rantanen is a right winger just like Yurai Slavkovsky is a lefty and he's also a first round pick but from the 2015 NHL entry draft he was 10th overall he also played with TPS Turku in the SM League he got pretty much the same point per game that Slavkovsky did with 25 points in 56 games. He did a little bit better in his draft here, but he had a lot more ice time with 13 minutes of ice time per game. Slavkovsky him had 9 minutes on average of ice time in the game. After he got drafted, he played a 9 game trial with the Colorado Avalanche in 15-16. He got 0 points in 9 games. He after got sent to the San Antonio Rampage in the AHL, where he got 60 points in 52 games as a rookie at 18 years old in the AHL, which is really good. And I said that I could probably see Slavkovsky getting a development in the same style that Rantanen did, so I wouldn't be surprised if Slavkovsky get his 9-game trial at the beginning of this season and after get sent to the Laval Rockets and just simply tear the league apart a bit like Rantanen did after that season he got his first season in the NHL in 16-17 he got 38 points in 75 games 20 goal 18 assists which is really good again for a rookie in the NHL and the Colorado Avalanche weren't that great in the 2016-17 season after that he completely break out in the 2017-18 season with 84 points in 81 games 29 goals 55 assists after that in the 18-19 season he got 80 Seven points in 74 in the 1920 he got 41 and 42 in the 2020 21 he got 66 and 52 and last season he got 92 and 75 so Rantanen kept on progressing I wouldn't be surprised if he gets to 100 points in the next season he's really good he's going to be entering his prime since he's 25 years old he's only gonna get better so I really think that Slavkovsky could have a pretty similar development like I said starting a season in Montreal with the nine game trial getting sent to the AHL with the Lava Rockets playing his first season next season getting a pretty decent season and as the time goes and pass he's going to get better I think that Slavkovsky could have a pretty similar development Maybe we'll get to the NHL this year and perform better than Rantanen did, but I wouldn't be surprised. I think that the Habs need to look at Rantanen as an example of what they need to do to get Slavkovsky to the level of Rantanen, a 80 to 90 point guy. So yeah, I think the comparison is pretty fair since they both are from the same league. They both are from TPS Turku. They both are 6'4". They both are big guys. They both are right wingers that shoots left. Yeah, let me know what you guys think. I think that can't use it. The Canadians need to look at Rantanen to be sure that they develop Sofkowski in the right way. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. It's been your boy Tropical NHL. And I'll see you guys later for another video. Bye-bye.